they've made Swarmhost even more disgusting. <laughs> but but they're kind of fun now, though. Yeah, they're Ish. different because it's yeah. not a it's not like a persistent wave. It's more bursty. Yeah, you you can't just sit there having them pump out units and rally them to a position. It's right. not it's not the same. I don't I don't hate it honestly. I don't hate it. Although I'm not really sure how you stop it. That because I mean with that you can't have enough air defense to shoot down that many locusts. Surely no. So. I you can just, you've got to find the swarm hosts and kill them before they do that, I suppose. Well, or find them and attack them before they do it again, because there's a big window of vulnerability. Yeah. Right? Like, the locusts come out, they last for 30 seconds, but the ability to spawn locusts has a cooldown of, like, 60 seconds or 75 yes. seconds. Uh -huh. So it's, it's very much like this unit attacks once every so often, but it does a ton of damage, like in that small window where it's available. Mm. But then, of course, it does nothing. It's it's uh, a little bit similar to a Widowmine in that regard. Mm. You know, the Widowmine attacks once, but not very often. And that one attack is really strong. But as soon as it can't do that, it's extremely vulnerable. And Swarm Hosts work kind of the same way in Legacy of the Void. Someone just described it as Rat SC2 as a reference to Dota 2 ratting. Yeah, kind of is. Like, it's a, it's a big bursty thing can kind of go anywhere on the map and blow buildings up. Yeah. <laughs> I can I can get that. It is the nature's profit of StarCraft 2. And that is a scary idea that these things could strike within a reasonable distance. The map awareness you will require in order to fend swarm hosts off when they've got the flying upgrade seems like it's going to be significant. Yeah, it One thing that I really like about all these units, regardless of how strong or weak they are, is that when that unit enters play, it changes everything. Mm -hmm. And that's really cool to see because that's that's something that StarCraft does need. That's going to make it more interesting. That creates more options. And if the numbers have to be tweaked, which they probably will because it's hard sure. to get things right the Why first not? time, you know, that's okay. But we got to start with units that are interesting and fun to play against before yeah. we do anything else. Speaking of interesting and fun to play against, we haven't seen a Nidus Worm yet because those things are invincible while they're being summoned. Which seems like yeah. it would make them hugely more viable than they previously were, but no one's built them yet. Yeah, they're still... So it's kind of weird, because even though they're invincible while summoned, the moment they finish, they're not invincible. Yes. And it still takes... A, you know, it still takes time to get units out of them. Mm. I um, still... I think I think that makes the, the Baneling Knight is a lot more effective, because if you, if you get a bunch of probes or just melee units around, it's like, all right, we're going to kill it as soon as it finishes, and then Banelings just start coming out. It's devastating. <laughs> yes. Impact is going... Oh. It, we're finding out if 12-pool works. Impact's going 12-pool speed on one base. It's 12-pool <laughs> Baneling. All right. Impact wants to end this one way or the other. This yeah. is against, what, a Nexus first and double gas opening from the Protoss. And not a big map either. Does this work? I have no idea. Nope, I love how do I. every game, every time Impact loses a macro game, he follows it up by cheesing <laughs> Craig. Cheesing, <laughs> yeah. I don't blame him. <laughs> it works. Why Why fix what isn't broken? Oh, man. I don't think Crank can defend that. He's got nothing. He's going to have a zealot. Yeah, uh, he has no forge. He's got a lot of probes. Mm -hmm. uh, He's not no going to have a lot of probes in a minute. Yeah. How good is this probe micro? And how good is this zealot? Let's see. Speed is about to finish, and Banelings are morphing now. He's, Frank sees he's it not going to be happy to see that. <laughs> no, no. Oh my god, he's morphing them all into Banelings because he knows that Crank can't stop it. Yeah. This is going to hurt. Good. Well, the Mothership Core is on its way, but it's not going to have Photon Overcharge. This is going to be very hard to stop. He's going to just have to split all of his probes. Basically, just split them. He he is going to take losses here, but he just needs to take as few losses as possible. Yep. Oh, well, there's some detonations. No, oh, that was a bad one. Oh, dear. All right, he's going to focus that down. He needs to knock oh. him. Oh! oh! The flag comes in. If he hadn't got hit by that, then this wouldn't be so terrible, but it's, it's not no. like... No! It's a devastating attack. The last oh. Baneling detonation takes another with it. Oh, God. And more lings are flooding in, and this is going to be the end of this tournament. And Impact is going to take it three games to two. And I think that the meal he will ask for is a cheese pizza after that. Well, turns out 12 Pool Bane is pretty good. 
against Nexus first. I, I yeah. think that uh, we have discovered that Banelings are still pretty cool. That's like the only time they've been built this entire tournament, I recall. And, well, they work pretty well, got to admit. <laughs> Devastating. There you go. Nothing. Nothing at all. He would have had to split so well, and he just kind of derped his probes around. <laughs> oh, he's dear. Like, he's like in disbelief. He's like, really? Really? You did Impact, this to me? Really? <laughs> I... I bet Crank uh, just got up and went over to Impact's just computer. Hit him. <laughs> yeah. It's likely. It's very likely. Well, Impact, congratulations. You get a meal of your choosing and you are exempt from chores for a week, which is, is a good position because he is the youngest in the house, so he tends to get the most of them. He gets nice. away with it. Impact has proven that Zerg's pretty good and, well, for some reason we saw a pretty bad show from the Terrans, even though there were four of them. The Terrans got knocked out about as fast as they possibly could have. Yeah, the Terrans did not do well in this tournament. No. Whether it was trying to, like, believing that the Cyclone would solve <laughs> I think everything. That was, yeah. yeah, I think that was the biggest problem, is every Terran seemed to have this idea that the Cyclone would literally win the game on its own and kill everything. And uh, that... Evidently it does not. Yeah, that that is just not true. It, it doesn't do that. My... Well, that was a lot of fun. Kyrixi, thank you very much for co-casting. Very much appreciated. I could not have made it through the day without you. Thank you as well for inviting me on. It was a lot of fun. I'm really glad to uh, get some insight into what might or might not be coming. Of course, the Legacy of the Void build Blizzard is using is going to be different. Yes. Yeah. But it's nice to get an insight, you know, see what top Korean professionals are doing with a little bit of practice. Mm. Blizzard might look at this tournament, I think. I mean... Why wouldn't you? It seems like a good idea to have a look at it and see if there's any balance divinations they can find from this event. There was We saw some interesting stuff, stuff that perhaps we didn't expect to come from these players. Yeah. It also, it did change my mind on the Herc and the, and the Cyclone. Like, they both appeared really ludicrously good and they're... I still think they're good, but they're not, they're not the be-all and end-all unit that they appeared. Because yeah. when we saw them play in the show matches at BlizzCon, it's just like, how the hell do you even kill this thing? Yeah, everybody there felt... It looked like they were all stumped, like the unit yeah. just solved every problem. And when we saw it here, it, it really didn't look that way at all. Yeah. Frank says, hi guys, you won't be able to see Impact anymore from now on because I just killed him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I feel slightly sorry for Crank, but Impact... It has the competitive spirit. He is willing to cheese when it counts, and yep. he executes that damn thing pretty well. There you go. We end a Heart of the Swarm tournament with the fastest pool bane possible. <laughs> That's, it wouldn't be StarCraft without that, would it? Yeah. Thank you very much for watching, folks. We had over 30,000 concurrent viewers today, which is far more than I expected for a little prizeless tournament. So big thanks to you for coming out and supporting this event. And, of course, big thanks to the Axiom players for staying up super late. It's 3 a.m. over there now, so they stayed up for absolutely nothing just to entertain you guys so i hope that you had a lot of fun with it i certainly did that's uh it's made me think that legacy of the void is going to be pretty cool if it's anything like that that's a lot there's a lot of interesting stuff to be seen and obviously plenty more work to be put into it to see whether or not it ends up being balanced but we saw some really fun games and hopefully we will see a great deal more of that when the beta comes out which will hopefully be sooner rather than later i would like to play that yeah, me too. Definitely yeah. looking forward to Legacy of the Void. Absolutely. All right, folks. Thank you very much for watching. It's been a fun event. I hope you enjoyed it. If you missed any of the tournament, we'll be starting to produce the spoiler-free VODs over on youtube.com slash totalbiscuits. So each series will have a spacer to make sure you don't know how long the series is going to be. You won't know who's going to win it past the round of eight because we'll just name it the semi-final match one, semi-final match two, etc., etc. So if you did miss any of the tournament, I'd recommend watching it. There were some really fun, silly games. And thanks to Blizzard for letting this happen. You know, they, they basically let people make a mod of their new expansion for free. That's pretty cool. Yeah. You know, not, not that many companies would let you do that. So I'm pretty, pretty damn happy. I think I also just called this tournament Heart of the Swarm, which was pretty damn stupid. But, you know, Legacy of the Void, you get the idea. Thank you very much Whatever. for watching, folks. And we are gone. We'll see you next time. Good night.